Here's what you'll see when you first open a project in Animatron. Using our alien landscape as an example, we're going to discuss menu options, sharing settings, and publishing formats. This is the main menu, which contains a number of options and keyboard shortcuts. Let's take a look at what we can do. We'll start with the project submenu. To begin a brand new project, select New Project and start working. If you want to experiment or build on top of an existing project and still keep the original, duplicate the project. Open a project that you've already created by clicking Open Project. All the projects you've created will be listed in this dialog box in order of the most recently modified. You can see 10 projects at a time. The navigation buttons at the bottom allow you to move from page to page. Select the project to see a preview of it. If no preview is available, you'll see this icon. To delete a project, select it and click on the trash can icon. And to open a project, select it and click Open. You can also open your five most recently modified projects directly from the main menu. You can download and upload your projects to or from your computer with the Download or Upload Project options. When you import the project, it will replace the project you currently have open. But don't worry, since Animatron saves your work automatically, the project that was replaced will be saved in your account and you can go back to it using the Open Project dialog box. Animatron does have vector drawing tools, but in version 1 there are plenty of things that are easier to do using other software tools like Illustrator or Photoshop. If you'd like, you can build your objects in other software tools that you're used to working with, then import SVGs or other files into Animatron. You can also import audio files and add sounds to your project. Plus, you can take a photo using your computer's camera and insert it directly into your project. Moving down the list, you'll find common editing and selection options. The View submenu contains visual options. Show Grid brings up a grid that covers the entire drawing area. Grid Size opens up a dialog box where you can select the size of a grid square. And Snap to Grid aligns objects to the closest intersection on the grid. These options are also available at the bottom right side of the canvas. Now let's take a closer look at the Inspector panel, which runs along the top of your screen. In addition to naming and renaming the project, you can set the canvas size and background color here. You can visually change the size of any underlined field in Animatron by clicking and dragging. See how the canvas size is changing? Of course, you can always type in the exact value. Project sharing options are also located in the Inspector panel. The default setting for publishing projects is Public, Read Only, which means that your published movie will be public and anyone can see it, but no one can edit it unless they make a duplicate copy for themselves. Other sharing options include Public, Unlisted, Unlisted Read Only, and Private. The Help submenu gives you the option to bring up a map of all of Animatron's keyboard shortcuts. Then you can just close the window and go back to work, like this. Tutorial takes you to our Help page. The context help at the bottom right side of the canvas also contains information and shortcuts related to specific tools and features. You can click the box to hide it, but we recommend you keep it open, at least at first. It's super helpful. The Play submenu gives you four different preview options. Play Stop, Play Scene, Play Movie, and Test in Player. The first three show previews of your project or part of your project within the editor itself. Test in Player shows you what your project will look like when it's published. You can also preview your project one scene at a time using the player controls above the timeline. Press play to watch your animation. The preview will begin at the time where the playhead is set, which in this example is at the beginning. Press pause or click anywhere in the window to close the preview. Use the rewind button to return to the beginning. To see your animation at a specific point in time, move the playhead to that time and click play. While we're down here near the timeline, let's look quickly at zooming and scrolling the timeline itself. Dragging the scroll bar allows you to move along the timeline. To zoom in, just click and drag the ends of the scroll bar, or place your cursor over the bar and scroll up and down on your mouse or trackpad. If you're done working and everything looks good in the preview, now you're at the last step. It's time to publish your project. You can choose to publish in HTML5, GIF, or video formats. The publishing options are located here in the Inspector panel. 
Clicking on the Settings icon will allow you to choose your preferred format and select a few other options. Once you've chosen your settings, click the Publish button next to the Settings button and voila! Your animation is ready to share with the world. Just click the Open button to see your animation in a separate browser window. You can send the published URL to others to share your work, or you can copy the embed code to insert your animation into another project.